Breaking news from New York, Ju judge just arrested. This is sick by Sassy Liberty for DailyVine.com. Anthony T. Hinks stated, It's when I strip down to my underwear that I feel in control of the situation. Perhaps that was what a New York judge was thinking when he chose to steal soiled underwear? Except in Long Island, Judge Robert Sikal's case, uh, it was uh, not his underwear, but that of his neighbor. That is first-degree panty larceny, also known as second-degree burglary. Sikali was caught with his robes down after breaking into a neighbor's home and stealing a pair of women's panties. Police said the woman was alone in her East Islip home on Thursday when she heard a noise and saw a man running off. He snuck into the East Islip home at around 9 a.m. in the morning but fled once he realized a 23-year-old woman was inside the home. The woman then uh, reported that Sikali ran away, leaving her home. She then closed and locked the door and called her mother. Her mother then called 911. When the police arrived at the home, the woman provided a description of Sikali. Uh, prosecutor stated the woman was sleeping but woke up when she heard the door open. She then called out hello. She then spotted Sikali in the doorway. Responding officers report they saw Sikali walking up to a different house and pretend to knock on the door. He could offer no explanation to police why he was at yet another neighbor's home. Here comes the perv. I stole neighbor gal's undies and not just once, judge tells cops. Isn't that funny? Unbelievable. Disturbing. Police uh, picked up Sakali a few blocks from the house where officers say they found Sakali carrying the woman's soiled undergarments. He was approached due to matching the victim's description. Police also report several pairs of soiled women's underwear on him, which the victim identified as her own. Wow. Sikali admitted to his crime but claimed the underwear they found on him was from another time he had broken into her home. <laughs> Unbelievable. He also admitted he had broken into her home on previous occasions. In his confession, he said he stole the underwear upon fleeing urges, oh, upon feeling urges. Oh my God. He then admitted that on several prior occasions he entered the home without permission, opened her dirty clothes hamper, and removed the soiled uh, panties from the home. A married father with three young children, ages 9 to 13, he is accused of sneaking into a neighbor's home across the street and stealing the underwear on multiple occasions belonging to a 23-year-old uh, woman who lives there with her parents. Acting Commissioner Stuart Cameron uh, told Newsday he was found with soiled female undergarments. We don't know if these were the pro, uh, proceeds from the burglary today or a previous break-in. How embarrassing. Sir Cali was elected in 2015 on the Republican Conservative Green Independence and Reform Party lines. He also served as Islip Town Attorney and work for the Legal Aid Society, which represents indigent defendants. Of, Sir, of Sakali, uh, Christopher Broccato, president of the Suffolk County Criminal Bar Association, said he has a reputation not only as a good judge, but as a good human being, too. It is not currently clear if the 23-year-old is his only victim or if he's fixated on her uh, specifically. It is also not clear exactly how many times he was in her home. He is believed to know the girl from when she previously worked as an intern at the Islip Town Attorney's Office. Sakali worked for the office around the same time. The prosecutor said the woman identified Sakali, who wrote out a confession and a letter of apology to the woman, despite the admission of guilt, according to criminal complaint. Sakali pleaded not guilty Friday to second-degree burglary, a Class C felony. 
Uh, despite admitting to his crimes, Zakali pleaded not guilty Friday to burglary after being held on $50,000 bail. Uh, he is facing up to 15 years in prison and has been temporarily relieved of his judicial duties indefinitely, according to a spokesman for the State Office of Court Administration, Lucien uh, Chelfin. Uh, his cases will be reassigned. Uh, Chelfin uh, stated, in addition, the matter has been referred to the Court of Appeals for a de uh, determination as to whether he will be suspended and if his suspension will be with or without pay. Wow, the trouble he got into, boy, oh boy, he, he's not well. Sakali's attorney said his client had a stellar reputation. Defense attorney William uh, Wessler states his reputation throughout the court is stellar. Every judge, every lawyer respects him, and we just have to see how the process plays out. Suffolk County District Attorney Tim Sinney states of the situation, this is highly disturbing. This is an individual who swore to uphold the law. He violated it in a very serious way. The message here from both the Suffolk County Police Department and the Suffolk County District Attorney's Office is that no one is above the law and will prosecute this case to the fullest extent of the law. Uh, a restraining order has been issued uh, in an effort to prevent Sakali from contacting his victim. Uh, again, and as a condition of his bail, Sakali is required to wear a GPS monitor, according to Sinni. He is ordered to stay at least 100 feet from the neighbor's house, and he is ordered to have no contact with the 23-year-old woman or her parents. Wow, this is something, and embarrassing too, really. Unbelievable. You know, you don't know. People snap. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.